Hello guys and welcome to my vlog today. Today I am 19 days past ovulation which is equals 5 weeks. Wow! Or maybe even 5 weeks and 1 day. Who? Like who? That's a lot. I made it. I mean that it's nothing compared to 40 weeks but it's still something to me. It means that it's like a milestone that I just passed. So like who? We got this. I'm gonna make it. I'm relaxed. I'm happy and let's get it started guys. Okay, so tomorrow was a tough day. I don't know why I decided that something went wrong. I have no idea, but pregnancy mind and pregnancy test lines are hmm, sometimes playing um, a bad game with you guys. Because when you test just once, or two times to confirm your pregnancy, you're okay. You know that, oh, okay, I'm pregnant. I got two positive pregnancy tests, which is great, okay? But when you test five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and multiple times, it's like, um, you know that you're pregnant, definitely. And with every single pregnancy test, you want this line to be darker and darker and bald and darker and like, fat <laughs> so and i'm one of those pregnant mommies who wants to see the line progression which is totally fine like everyone's opinion is different you know everyone's opinion is acceptable so um i'm just trying to explain why i'm testing it's like a peace of mind for me that uh, my baby is fine, my body working right now, like really hard, like everything goes smooth. <sighs> okay, okay, so finally, let's start talking about um, 19 days past evaluation and 18 days past evaluation, which was yesterday. I want to let you know, guys, that I decided to test yesterday evening just to make sure that the line is getting darker. Because uh, morning and afternoon tests were not that great, to be honest. But you never know. You never know. Maybe it's just the test quality. Because this is internet GP1. It's like about 10 cents per test or like 20 cents per test, which is like nothing compared to um, Clear Blue or First Response. My favorite is First Response. So I decided to test again and the line was... It was good. It was good. I think it's definitely positive. It's definitely so. Oh my goodness! Let me guys tell you. So this is the test line. This is the test line. This is the control line, and this is cycle day. Oh no, not cycle day. Eighteen days past evaluation evening. As you can see, guys, they are kind of the same quality. They are very, very positive. Very bold. And this is 18 days past evaluation and I don't want to compare any tests from day 18 anymore like morning, afternoon, late afternoon, early evening, late evening so this is like too much, too much, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys the pregnancy test from today it, it was my first morning urine and this is, um, uh, this is Pregmate and yeah, I took it today, early morning, and it's very bold. Look at this, guys. It is very bold. It's like very positive. This is the test line. This is the control line. It is very positive. For example, let's just take... Um, tests from 18 days past relation and 19 days so the top is 18 days 
and you guys can see the test lines this test line which is at 19 days past evolution is definitely darker it's definitely darker so based on that that i just told you guys i want to make a decision that uh, my pregnancy is progressing and the baby is growing and everything is fine it's just my pregnant mind going crazy you know when you're crazy you can even forget things very easily let's say just recently i took one document from the folder and i'm like okay i need to take a copy of this i need to take a copy i put it somewhere uh, and like in a minute i'm like okay i need to pick it up because i need to put it in my purse to make a copy and i couldn't find it at all I just couldn't find it in the house. I'm like, where is it? I just took it from a folder. I just put it uh, somewhere. I don't even remember where I put it, but it wasn't there. It, it looks like it's not in the house anymore, but it, it is in the house and it was in the house. But this is just pregnancy mind playing tricks with me, which is fine, which is, I'm like, okay, I'm like totally fine. I know that. Uh, being pregnant it's a lot of fun and sometimes not a lot of fun so I'm like okay and look at this guys oh my god I have a lot I have oh my this I just hate them those pimples are like uh, not for me uh, I have a dermatology appointment tomorrow so I'm gonna talk with my doctor um, because I definitely need something okay let me share my symptoms with you guys okay okay so it is like uh, 19 days past evolution afternoon it's not even evening so what I'm feeling even right now I feel a little bit lightheaded uh, like dizziness here and there from time to time but not not like so weird dizziness it just it's something very mild sometimes I don't even feel it that much but it's it's definitely there okay I felt nauseous and also I ate mochi it's not ice cream it's like mochi cookies and the taste was I mean the flavor was it was the same but it's something it was kind of not that yummy anymore um, I mean that it's still the same but it's not that yummy like you know what i mean it's just pregnancy hormones oh yeah i started cooking uh, and it was hard to cook because uh, uh, the smell around me was so strong and i'm like okay it smells yucky oh i hate what it looks like and it, i had hard time cooking and it's definitely pregnancy hormones i felt nauseous about two times like very mild two or three waves in the morning very mild almost nothing but it was like uh, not that good it was not that good okay and um, i do feel tired i woke up and i felt tired uh, i do a lot of things here and there and i feel tired like i, I feel really literally like exhausted from very early morning and bloating is still there i'm very bloated still very bloated but not constipated which is a good sign with my baby number three i was extremely constipated throughout my pregnancy it was the worst thanks god i'm not constipated thanks god okay and frequent urination i cannot say that i do it um like every 30 minutes or so but uh, during the night time i usually don't do this during the night time but right now i have to wake up um, one or two times and it's driving me crazy because I had hard time falling asleep after that and which is not the best you know that I like um, having kind of six seven hours sleep so right now it's even less because I have to wake up I go to the bathroom 
uh, when I uh, go to my bed after the bathroom, I'm having a hard time falling asleep, which is not great, but it is what it is. This is pregnancy hormones, like baby belly, and like everything and anything associated with the baby. Okay, so those are my symptoms. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and comment down below. Put a comment down below. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Bye. I love you, guys.